I'm getting ready for my Montana trip, and I I hope we see some brown drakes. And I've been been tying quite a few of these for the trip. This is Renee Harrop's brown drake cripple. I've caught a lot of big fish with this fly. Just like Renee Harrop's Last Chance Cripple PMD, uh, this fly has a wood duck flank feather tail and uh, some rusty dubbing, like a rusty dubbing shuck over that. All his cripples are a, a, a similar design. I like I like to get the tail so it's curving upwards. Yeah. Close enough. You notice I started at the uh, about the one quarter mark. On the hook. Now I'm 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 about halfway down. And I'm going to tie in the shuck, which is made of, of uh, just some rusty dubbing um, rolled into kind of a worm. Double it back. I like it kind of shaggy, so instead of cutting it, I just kind of go like this to get it looking the way I <laughs> imagine it should look. The next thing, the body is, is made up of a um, turkey by it. Tannish yellow. Everything's tannish yellow on this. And uh, I'm going to tie it in, notch up on the far side of the hook. It's a little fragile. I'm going to start with it. <clears throat> by hand find it about five turns of this works well in this case six You don't want to, this to extend much beyond halfway down the hook. I think of this fly as half of its body, the, the back half is body, then the front half is half of it is thorax, and then the rest is wing and uh, hackle. So we're going to do the thorax now, and this this is where Renee Harrop really shines. His, his thoraxes are beautifully done. I'm I'm using uh, his dubbing, and try as I might. <clears throat> Quite honestly, I never get these looking quite as good as he does. He gets, uh, it's almost like a cylinder look to his thoraxes that I just like a lot. And uh, 
try as I might, I can never quite duplicate it. Um, lately, I've been doing two sets of four bunches of fairly sparse dubbing to try to achieve that, the look, his look. He dubs left-handed, so I always, I like to think in my head that, boy, if I could dub, dub left-handed, he does this kind of thing. If I could do that, I could get that look he gets. And of course, that's, that's crazy talk. Anyway, I'll go with this. Now, I don't have... I, I'm, I've been tying these with really dark wings because I've seen some large brown drakes the last couple of years with very almost black wings, and I didn't have any hair up dark done, um, the actual hair up brand, which is the best CDC out there, especially for, for these. So what I've been doing is I've been taking um, some not so hot CDC and, and tying on, tying in four of them, pairing them up. And I want a nice long wing on this. So I'm going to go full hook length because these these brown drakes are huge that I've been seeing the 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 very dark ones the black ones if you will I've, all, I've always tied this fly with medium done CDC but this year I'm going darker Now I took I took turns back into the thorax there. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, I really want this butted up against it, and I want to want to be sure I have room for my hackle. And I'm also going with large hackle. Um, this is a size 10, 3x long hook, and I'm going with every bit of size 10 with the hackle. And this is hackle I've dyed myself, kind of a, a tannish brown as well. The other thing I, I'm doing a little differently this, this year, I'm really making this wing fairly upright. I mean, it still tilts forward like a cripple, but. About like that. Looks, looks like the, some of the flies I'm seeing on the water. And I just, I don't want this hackle to be overdone. I'm going to do three turns. There's two, there's three. And right now, I'm just in front of the wing. Now I'm going to go behind the hackle, in front of the hackle, behind, in front, and behind. Then I'll take one turn in front of the, the wing and do a whip finish. And I'm gonna use Dick Shaw's technique here. Shove that through like that. 
just open the scissors a little bit, hold the, <clears throat> the hackle under tension and just shove that through. And this one will fish, certainly. And that's all there is to that fly. It's a fantastic pattern. And uh, I'll be tying this in green drakes as well. They're very similar in design. Uh, green drakes have the, the wood duck tail. And the shuck is a, is a black, green, very dark olive. The... Uh, Body as well. The bite is a is a black olive, dark olive body, and the thorax the same thing. And then uh, uh, the uh, grizzly hackle is dyed olive or or yellow, yellow olive, I guess, and dark wings. I'm thinking back to my first experience with the brown drake hatch at Henry's Fork. It was below Osborne Bridge, uh, all kinds of fly fishermen posted up and down the river, but nobody moving. Everybody out in the water uh, with rods at the ready, but nobody casting. And af after a long period of time, the drama started. The first little sailboat came down, and these things do look like sailboats. And you can see them like a couple hundred yards away and they just start coming down, and then there's more and more and more. Pretty soon, you see a rise, see another rise, and it is so exciting. And the entire hatch builds, and it gets crazy. Really wonderful fishing. Some of my favorite times ever. <laughs>